Right, what we're going to talk about now is playing the backhand drive at an intermediate level rather than the basic level. And as we explained earlier on the technique of the stroke, bat starts at table level. Try to keep the bat arm as much as a 90 degrees as we possibly can without using our wrist. Even when we get into intermediate level, there's no urgency at this stage to use the wrist. All we need to do to generate the pace of the ball as fast as we want to play it, is to extend the arm from the elbow a little bit quicker than we did in the earlier explanation. The action is exactly the same. When the ball is in the air from your opponent coming to me, my bat is in this position ready to play the stroke. I'm looking to keep my bottom of my bat at table level, wait for the ball to come to me, and it will do because it's a fast ball, and then we then just extend the arm from the elbow and we go through as quick as we possibly can making sure the angle's in its right plane. That becomes a matter of experience and practice will tell us what angle that is. But at this stage, I send, again, I, I, re, I repeat, there's no urgency to start looking at using the wrist. Yes, wrists will have to be used, but not at this stage. We only need to start using it when we get into the next phase, and we'll talk about that in a little while. Well, the difference between the, sh the shot we're trying to look at now that's against the first one is to the onlooker it'll look very 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 much the same but it's not because the bat is still starting in its position and I'm just waiting for the right ball that I think I can accelerate my forearm through you'll see at this line here I am not extending my arm through the ball now I am now I am very very quick very very fast and that gives it tremendous amount of pace and a reasonable amount of topspin. You've got to judge the line of the ball, the height of the ball. When it's there, let it go. Those two are perfect examples. So you can't do it every time. You wait like that one, there's the wrong one. You've got to wait for the right ball. The concentration comes in. So you make sure you keep it going, which is back to basic, and suddenly, you feel as though the ball is there and once the ball is there you let it go yes. and even my opponent here is getting a little bit amazed at the power that's coming through here and very very little movement am i right yes. there's very very little movement in my arm here it's just a quick movement it has to be snappy and it has to be positive and once you decide to play that particular stroke you play it there's got to be no theory about, or worry, about whether you lose it or whether you win it. All you're concerned about is hitting the ball. And you hit it correct. If you hit it correct, it should do some damage on the other side. It might not win the point, but it will certainly put your opponent in some danger. The angle, obviously, when they're hitting the ball very, very quick, the angle will be actually cl more closed, so exaggerating it, instead of hitting it through, you will then close the angle more and hit it through as well. But the angle is lower, so consequently the ball goes away lower and gives it more spin when you hit the ball. Providing the bat is starting at the table level and coming up into the ball. So we pick the right one, it's there. That one. That's feeding, that's feeding, that's hitting. Feeding, feeding, hitting. Feeding, feeding, hitting. So it's just a question of angle churning. Churning the angle. It's a question of just turning the angle slightly when you're committing yourself to the, to the hit one, the hard one. So we just have to keep the ball going and it's there. So to recap, it's the action of the same as before, the bottom of the bat at table level. We're looking to keep the bat arm in its 90 degrees. We're looking to play the ball faster from the elbow, not the shoulder. The shoulder never brings the, bat, the arm into it at all. The bat finishes level no higher than our face, and it certainly doesn't finish outside the body line. In fact, the faster you hit the ball with the elbow at a 90 degrees, the bat, arm, the, the bat will not finish anywhere near your face. It will actually be a slightly shorter stroke, but it will be a quicker stroke.